ain't gonna hang Brad, are they, Paul? Brad said he didn't kill that Garrett woman, and I believe him. One thing I know, our son is not a murderer. I hope you're right. Oh, I, I didn't mean to bring me. Tommy, you go on in and help your mom with supper. I won't be long. I wonder what's keeping your pa. I'll go get him. Oh, no, no need. I hear him now. alive then you surprised melissa you don't seem glad to see me now look here ben you can't who can't i'm here ain't i what are you doing here i'm going to take that murdering son of yours and i'm going to hang him right out there in front of your barn you're crazy he murdered my wife now listen ben it was brad's 21st birthday he got a little drunk he went over to see your wife they were just standing on the porch and someone shot her Ben, you've got to ask. Ask who? Melissa here? Sure. Well, why is Ringo holding him in jail if somebody else shot her? There was no one to back up Brad's story. But he didn't even have a reason to kill her. He was running after her, and she wouldn't pay no attention to him, so he shot her. That's not true. Uh, he killed my wife, and he's going to die. Ain't that for the law to say? What law? I'm not taking any chances of some jury setting your son free. Ringo's got him now, and you can't reach him. I can reach him. Now, from all I hear, Ringo is no fool. But if he won't turn Brad over to me, then one of you is going to die. Or maybe two. Now, one of you is going to tell this to Ringo. Which one I don't care, that's for you to decide. But if Brad's not back here in one hour, that's eight o'clock, one of you is going to be mighty dead. And if he's not here by nine, then the other one's going to die, and I'll go get him myself. What if Ringo ain't there? Seth, you've got one hour. Let the boy go. If anything goes wrong, at least he'll have his chance.
Looks like we could be in for some trouble, Cully. Ben Garrett escaped prison four days ago. They think he's headed for Velarde, huh? He any relation to Annie Garrett? Yeah, he's her husband. He was sent up for robbing the Tucson stage two years ago. The way I heard it, Annie was the one who talked him into giving himself up. According to Sam Basher over at the telegraph office, Annie was Garrett's whole life. You think Garrett wants Brad? Yeah, it looks that way. I'm gonna have a talk with him anyway. Still some things I want answers to. So Ben Garrett broke out of prison. This ought to be fun. Why don't you think so, Ringo? If you don't hang me, Garrett's gonna put a bullet in my back. And I wouldn't make things any rougher on myself than they already are. Oh, yeah, rough. You find me standing over Garrett's wife with a gun that's just been fired. I'm drunk and four people saw me have a fight with her earlier that afternoon. That's some birthday present. Well, now, you'll have to admit, Brad, your story just doesn't seem to hold water. Then again, it's your story. My story? Ringo, how am I going to convince the jury that I'm innocent when there are no witnesses? Look, I told this story ten times. Sure, I had a fight with her that afternoon. That's why I went back that night. You said she wanted you to take her away. That was her idea. We were on the porch. When I told her we were through, she almost tore my head off. I pushed her away, like I said, but she started back at me. There was a shot, and, and she was dead. And I barely saw someone running off, and I took a shot at him, and, and then you came. Ringo, I swear I didn't do it. What were you doing with a married woman in the first place? I just danced with her a couple of times. She asked me. I'll have Cully get you some food. Find out anything? Nope. What are we going to do about Garrett? For the moment, nothing but wait. Mr. Ringo! Mr. Ringo, you got to come quick. Ben Garrett's at the ranch. Well, now, calm down, Tommy. What's this all about? Well, he came with a gun. He said, he said if Brad wasn't there in an hour, by 8 o'clock, he's going to kill Ma or Paul. Ringo! Let me out of here! And that ain't all. He said if Brad wasn't there by 9 o'clock, he was going to kill them both. Ringo, he's crazy! He'd do it, too! Let me out of here! Well, he aims to hang you, too, Brad. If he gets you. Ringo, you got to get out there and stop him. 8 o'clock, that's not much time. No one's going to force me to give up a prisoner. Now go over to the hotel and get Simpson. Tell him to watch the jail. Right. Tommy, it's best you stay here in town. He's got two of your family already. Ringo, please! He'll kill him! behind that rock. They can't see you from the house. If he starts shooting, I'll cover you. No. Hold your fire. Chances are he won't. I'm no good to get it dead. He wants Brad. Come 
on in, Mr. Ringo. We're all one big, unhappy family here. You didn't bring the boy. No. Brad's my prisoner, and he's gonna stay where he is until he's had a trial. Well, have it your way. You can keep your rules, but I'll stick to mine. Now, Garrett, listen to me. You know you haven't got a chance. Let him go. I don't make the rules, and I haven't the right to sacrifice one life or another. My wife had a dream. A dream where everything would work out all right if it started that way. And I believed her. But just the thought of what we had come and make those years in prison worthwhile. And then what happens? Some no-good, mealy-mouthed kid comes along and kills her for a laugh on his birthday. He's innocent, Ben, I swear it. You hear her? My boy's innocent, she says, while the whole town knows that my boy is no murderer. Now, you talk about rights? Well, that boy of theirs is going to hang for killing my wife. Have it your own way, Garrett. Ringo! Johnny, wait! You can't! He has a chance, Garrett, but I gotta get him to town. He needs a doctor. No. He's no use to you now. Still alive, isn't he? Well, then somebody still cares if he lives or dies. No, Ringo, I can use him. So get out of here and come back here with that boy. Because this woman's time is running out. <laughs> He means business, doesn't he? With a vengeance. What next? Now, you wait right here and watch the house. And don't forget, no matter what happens, Melissa's life is in his hands. You get him, Ringo? Come on, Tommy. Now listen to me, both of you. I hate to have to tell you this, but we've got no time to lose. Garrett shot your paw. He killed Paul like he said he would. I told you. I told you. Oh, no, Tommy. He's not dead, but he's hurt. How bad is he? Well, it's hard to say, but I think he'll make it. Right now, it's your mom we got to worry about. And there's only one way to stop Garrett. That's to get him out of your house. How do we do that? Oh, uh, that's where you come in. Garrett's crazed with the idea of hanging you for murdering his wife. But he's got to come out of the house to do it. You, you mean you're going to let him go through with it? No, I'm going to try to stop him. Try? Look, this whole thing hinges on Garrett believing you're going to hang. Well, I, I don't know. Garrett's already shot your paw. Now, if we don't get out there in the next half hour, your ma may be next. But I'm not going to jeopardize your life or hers. That's your decision. Now, what's it going to be, Brad? We've got to, Brad. There ain't no other way. What's your idea? Before we come into the yard, I'll position Cully in the barn. Now, when we come in, Garrett's got to come out. If I've got him figured out right, he'll only be thinking of you. Garrett's a sick man. And with a little goading, I think we can make him forget all about your ma. Now, that's my chance. If he doesn't, we've still got Cully in the barn. It'll work, Brad. It'll work. What happens if something goes wrong? What then? This is our only chance. Now, let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Simpson, keep an eye on Tommy. Give us until 9 o'clock, then get Hardy, Beckman, anybody else you can find in town, and get out to the Martin Ranch. And bring Doc Bardell with you. Now, Tommy, this is going to be no place for you. It's the first decent food I've had in... Two years. Yes. 
No use letting this go to waste. No. Annie was sure one for bacon. You should have seen the fuss that she'd make over one of these things. <laughs> Stuffing me like every bite with my last. You didn't think she could go for a guy like me, did you? Well, you know something. You're right, she shouldn't have. Saddle bum like me. Had no right to a pretty little sparrow. Something that we fitted together, Annie and me. We really did. Annie. Waiting for me just like she promised. Less than a year we'd have had a place like this. Well, that's all over now. And I'm not running anymore. No, ma'am, I'm here for just one reason. Reason? You of all people talking about reason. Looks like Ringo isn't coming. You'll never hang my son, Garrett. Ringo will see to that. No, I wouldn't be too sure, Melissa. I never yet seen the man who could just let a woman die willingly except for that murdering son of yours. You got five minutes. Brad, take these horses behind that rock and keep them as quiet as you can. Cully, take your rifle with you. Go down to the barn, position yourself so you can see that rope. Where will you be? Once you get set, Brad and I will come down. Now, I'm hoping once Garrett sees Brad, he'll come outside. Forget about Melissa, then I can take him. But if he makes a move toward that woman, you drop him. Now, get going. If this doesn't work, my ma dies. Not if I can possibly help it. We'll give him a few minutes. Be ready by now. Let's go. Ringo, and drop your gun belt. Not you. You stay where you are. I'm keeping this woman close to me just in case you feel like being a hero. I throw it over here. You take orders real well, Ringo. I think I'll even let you hang him. You're going to feel that rope go tight around your throat, boy. Feel it choking the life right out of you. No. Brad! Garrett! You harm that woman and I'll see you pay for it. Now, Ringo, I don't care if I live or die. You know that. But I'd kill ten of you to see him dead. Now, get him over there under that rope and tie his hands behind him. Come on, move. Tie his hands. 
But put the rope around his neck. No, Garrett, please don't hang him, dear God, please. Well, get on with it, Ringo. I'm not a hangman, Garrett. I won't do it. I think you will. Look, Garrett. Annie didn't care about you. She never cared about you. Brad can tell you. Garrett, two years away from a woman like Annie is a long time. You go on, keep talking, boy. You're not gonna have the breath for it much longer. Everyone in town knew Annie didn't care about you, Garrett. Well, that's enough talk, Ringo. Now, you put that rope around his neck or she's dead. I swear I didn't do it. She asked me to take her away. It's true, she was no good. Do you hear me, Garrett? She was nothing. She asked other men to take her away. I wasn't the only one. You gonna hang me over her? You're lying. She wasn't going away with you, a punk kid. But she hit you with a hole. How did you know that? You killed her. Take it easy, Tommy. Your ma's all right, and Doc's in the house, and your pa's gonna be fine. I don't get it, Johnny. Garrett shot his wife, even by mistake. Why would he want to hang Brad? Garrett was sick, Cully. Sick with loneliness. Sick to the point where he lost all reason. When he accidentally shot Annie, he had to justify it to go on living. He reasoned that if it hadn't been for Brad, Annie would still be alive. To him, Brad was the real murderer. He actually believed it happened. Come on, let's get back to town. Go, oh, Cully! ever known Everywhere he traveled Trouble was all that he found Face to face with a man said to prove that he could shoot Ringo down Ringo, Johnny Ringo His fears were never shown The fastest gun in all the West the quickest ever known. Brad, are they, Paul? 
Brad said he didn't kill that Garrett woman, and I believe him. One thing I know, our son is not a murderer. I hope you're right. Ma, I, I didn't mean to bring me. Tommy, you go on in and help your ma with supper. I won't be long. <laughs>